Today is March 12th, guys, and it's been a whole week now since I've last uploaded. Now, I'm gonna be kind of honest, I'm not in the best mood. However, I'm not in the worst mood either. But, uh, man, this is not how I planned to start out this month after I got this new camera. I was actually planning, guys, with my next video to uh, record Vilima, a game that I played before. I actually wanted to go back to playing that. And that was what this next video was going to be. But because of what transpired within this last week, I've had a slight change in plans. It's going to be the next video that I upload after this. This video, guys, we're going to be doing another outdoor vlog. And today, I want to talk to you all about money and uh, how that's affected me so far and how this can be applicable to all of you, especially to you, you young ones who are going to grow up to be adults in the future. So before we do that, I know obviously right now I can't do an outdoor vlog if I'm inside here. I just wanted to s stay here right now just to kind of uh, warm up to it a little bit. But uh, we'll drive to, to the place right now in the meantime. So let's go ahead. Money is um, solely responsible for why I haven't uploaded for an entire week, guys. So what exactly happened? Um, let me tell you what exactly happened. So within this week, guys, um, my car had another problem, which is, of course, typical. That's just how cars are always going to be. But essentially what happened was I had to spend a lot of money on parts for the car, the parts that needed to be bought and replaced in order to be fixed. And I spent uh, almost 200 bucks just on buying those parts. And then as for the labor, he charged 300 and it makes sense because he was working on it for several hours so i spent half a grand just on fixing my car guys and um the problem is that wasn't enough because i still needed to spend 200 more on um, being able to get other parts for the car i would have spent 700 dollars literally but thankfully my dad was able to cover because i, I just didn't have enough i only had enough f for 500 but i didn't have enough for 700 and then afterwards i still got to pay him 100 for rent because I pitch in to help my family with rent a little bit. I know it's not that much, but it's still 100 And I got to pay 175 for insurance. Literally, today, I got to come up with $475 out of my ass within this next few days. Now you see, guys, the issue here is not necessarily that uh, I um, have to get all of this money. The issue here is how money literally became a hindrance. How this literally prohibited me from being able to um, do anything else. Because you see, the thing with my job is that like compared to other jobs, if your car breaks down, you could just simply use a bus or use an Uber to still go to your job. But with me, I can only make money with my car. That's literally how it works. Not only do I use this car, guys, to work, but I also use this car to record videos. The point that I'm trying to say is that without my car, I literally cannot do YouTube because I can't be able to drive to the RTD parking garage that I go to every time I record a video and on top of that I'm not able to work so I'm literally losing money and that's extremely important because expenses and bills will always exist like it literally does feel like a barrier for me when it comes to being able to actually make YouTube videos all because of this I literally could not record for one whole week guys and it's all because my car was out of action and it needed to be fixed. Let me um, go ahead and drive all the way to um, the same park that I was recording at beforehand, guys. And I'll explain the rest there. So we're now here, guys. Right now, there's a few more cars here today than uh, before, which is good. So now, let's step outside right now and let's go ahead and, and talk about what exactly the issue is. So my issue, guys, is not necessarily that um, I need to make money. The issue here is that while trying to make money, I'm literally prohibited from being able to do anything else. Basically what I'm trying to get at, guys, is that my issue here is um, financial freedom. Financial freedom is the issue that I'm currently having right now. I do not have any financial freedom by any means whatsoever. And so um, I wanna talk to you all about that and uh, why it matters a lot when you have very little financial freedom guys you're good basically gonna be shackled because you won't when you have very little financial freedom there is no room to be able to do anything else with your life except trying to make money so I want to talk to you all about the importance of money and actually having it you see this isn't the first time that I've actually talked about this guys I've talked about this like a few times now if you remember in my previous video um, when I was talking about life literally trolled me and how much money I had to spend on fixing my car with the flat tire and everything 
And then beforehand, in the previous video, when I was talking about an important life lesson to learn, and that was about saving, um, these are very important things, guys, that you need to um, really take into consideration because uh, it's not gonna end. It's really not gonna end. And here's the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm complaining about it now. This is not, it's not gonna get any easier than this. It's only gonna get harder in life. Man, it's, uh, it's not fun when uh, when you're broke. And so here's the thing guys, right? With my current situation right now, about how I told you that I need to come up with like almost $500 within this next uh, few days. What do you think matters more right now? Me making that money and actually paying all these expenses or me making videos that will only get probably no more than 50 views. I need to set my priorities. Man, I really gotta say guys, it, it really sucks. The less money you have, the less financial freedom you have, and the less financial freedom that you have, the less room you have to be able to do other things within your life. If we're gonna be really completely honest about this guys, as of right now, YouTube is just simply a hobby. I can't be treating it like a priority, but at the same time, I kind of have to because the only way that people are really going to stick with you and actually enjoy the type of videos you make is when you put your all into it. But it's kind of hard for me to put my all into a hobby when um, I'm kind of being held back. At the end of the day, surviving matters more than um, pursuing your dreams. Now, I'm not trying to downplay dreams at all. I'm not trying to downplay that at all. And I'm not trying to say that, oh yeah, it doesn't, if it came between your dreams or the bills and like, yeah, you just have to completely give up on your dreams. No, I'm trying to say, if you do have other things that you wanna do in your life, it's going to be hard to do that at the beginning when you're poor. And so that is what I wanted to um, tell all of you today because, uh, I am currently struggling with it right now, and uh, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And, and then on top of that, I've also got college in my life, guys. So I've got college, so I've still got to go to school, and I've still got to do all my homework and all my projects and everything like that. We literally have a group project right now, and uh, let's just say that I haven't been the best uh, teammate so far. I literally could not do anything except try to have my car fixed. Like There's, there's, there's just too many things in my life that I'm trying to balance all at once. And it's kind of hard to do that when uh, you have very little financial freedom. Now you see, we can always argue whether or not uh, money buys happiness. But one thing that we absolutely cannot argue about is that money matters. Now I'm not trying to tell you guys to be uh, like super money hungry or anything like that. Like saying that, oh, like you see, like my problem isn't that like I want more in life. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that like, I'm just trying to get the bare minimum that I need without feeling like a slave to working. Because it literally, it, because it feels like that. I'm not able to do anything else, guys. What, what on earth was I supposed to do? And here's the thing, it, 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 could, it could be a bit different in the, in the sense that like, oh, well, I mean, it's because you record in your car during those days where you weren't able to use your car to, to drive and everything like that. If you were continuing to record in your house, then you could have been recording in your house during the days that uh, your car was being fixed by the guy. And I guess that is true, but I mean, that's not that's not the case for me. I cannot be recording in an apartment. Recording in an apartment, that's just no way. So that's what's been going on, guys. And yeah, I just wanted to tell you all a little something about money and how that ties in with financial freedom and how financial freedom ties in with being able to do other things in your life and this is only with the little amount of expenses that I have right now guys imagine if I was already a grown man living on my own where I'm like literally paying rent and doing all this other stuff so that's all I wanted to say to you guys within this vlog so now in the next video we're actually gonna be recording Vilma I will see you guys all within uh, my um, next video so yeah I know this was a bit of a rant, but uh, it's something that I definitely needed to talk to you all about. So uh, don't worry, I will definitely be able to uh, record now that I've actually got my car fixed again. But apart from that, I will see you all within the next video. And until next time, everybody, take care of yourselves.